What? Uh, oh. I'm a zombie now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> brains. <laughs> uh. Uh. Explain what I'm doing so I don't look like an idiot. Oh, what, what are you doing? I'm putting my arms up like a fucking like Franken like Frankenstein. Okay. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It? I'm sorry. Frankenstein. Sorry. Frankenstein's monster. All right. Okay. It's Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein was uh, the uh, servant or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was the I don't know one of the people with the pitchforks. Not a lot of people know that. All right, here's my question. Go here's, for my, it. My, here's my next question, rather. Uh-huh. Why? Why is it Frank? Why is it called Frankenstein? If it's no, Frankenstein's no, monster? No, 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 no. Why are you do? Why are you doing? Why are you doing a Frankenstein? Why are you? Why are you doing this? Halloween, baby. It's not Halloween. Not Halloween yet. Of course, not yet. Halloween yet. It's midsummer. You don't it's... know when someone is going to be hitting play on the podcasts are beautiful. You can go back to it... any episode. Imagine someone is all Hallows Eve all by themselves. Uh, and, uh, you know, the world is picking back up. Now we're probably going to have trick or treaters this year. What? Isn't that no, crazy? It... No. We're going to have trick or treaters probably this year. It's summer solstice. Currently. Literally. To... Yeah. Oh what? I can't believe I would explain what? how time works. People can oh go back. So if somebody <laughs> named Dustin or something like that is listening to this yeah in october uh-huh. it's gonna blow his mind so what are you gonna do when it comes to halloween and we're actually doing an episode then uh it's so hot it's summertime <laughs> it's summer solstice that's what i'll do no because you you don't understand the brilliance of when's the last book you read when's the last book you read is what i asked <laughs> when hey how many how long ago was was a book huh answer me this how long ago you in a book huh because no, me last night frankenstein's monster what you've not you've never read frankenstein i read the shortened little kid version in the second grade yeah you never read frankenstein by not Mary the Shelley. entire absolute thing no no i know enough of it to know that frankenstein was actually kind of a metaphor how many books do you think you've read <sighs> if okay if i'm being this, real this is an I'm actual not, question this, this i'm not for, i'm not for, i'm not this being is not funny for podcast mitch this is yeah. for mitchell welling yeah less than 10 <laughs> for sure <laughs> like <laughs> less than 10 by um by a by a significant margin seven or below all right all right listen okay um th- this is i, I i'm just curious now because uh-huh. this is not podcast material this okay. is a conversation that I, have. <laughs> okay. I, I i know some books that you've read yeah. I know, I know the, that you've read um, Violent Joseph Bruce's Jay's book. What's it called? Behind the Paint. Behind the Paint. Thank you. By, I've read it multiple Violent times. Jay. I've read it multiple mm-hmm. times, and that's a yeah. big, thick book. It's, I mean, it's it's as thick as the Bible, and twice as important. <laughs> <laughs> but it, a much richer lore in it, honestly. <laughs> there's more yeah. cursing in this one. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> There's a lot more of a lot of bad things in that one. Yeah. But um, I don't know. The Bible's got some fucked up things in it, too. Yeah. You can say that yeah. they're not homophobic in the okay, Bible but, as well. But ju- <laughs> as <laughs> okay. Well, too. <laughs> <laughs> so another... Thank you for the next... For right. another thing to draw a but comparison just to, to the... Yeah. Okay. Ju- just to clarify, though, although mm-hmm. you've read it many times, it only counts as one, one book. That's only Technically, one on yes. your list. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I know you've read some Claire Weeks books. I've read m- multiple Claire Weeks books, yeah. On on panic Let's say and two, agoraphobia. Two to three, but mostly yeah. two. And mostly honestly, two. given the fact I've never, I haven't finished any of them, let's yeah. we'll count that as one. You've read. I can't think of an- another fucking book that you've read. Gee, ever heard of the curious incident of the dog in the <gasps> nighttime? You have read. Yeah, I know. Okay, they made I know me you've read, read, read that, that in the seventh they, they grade. They made you read it. Oh, Did speaking like of seventh it? grade. Mm-hmm. Because of Win Dixie, <laughs> ever heard of it? <laughs> the thing they, is, yes, I've heard they, of it, but only from you telling me that it's like some emotional dog book. Yeah, and I barely Sounds remember it. Shit. <laughs> Most of the books that I've look, if it's not a self help book, especially when I have to work through, then it was a child's book. Then it was a book they made me read in the seventh in, grade in high school. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huckleberry okay. Finn. Yeah. Okay. They made us that, read that. Well, that's an American classic, so that's yeah. fine. That's fine. You read some Harry Potters? Oh, yeah. That counts as for... for I, I read all the Harry Potter, but, like, 
Those don't count as books. They count as movies in your that you read. <laughs> yeah, I read. I read the. I read the book version of the Harry Potter films. Yeah, it's a Harry Potter movie. Yeah, yeah. The, the novelization of the Harry Potter. Yeah, movies. yeah. The transcript of the <laughs> actual script of the film, with a bunch of unnecessary detail, like dragged on for longer. Yeah, <laughs> they got it right with the movies. They they narrowed everything yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. That was. That was what we call a tangent, but I just got genuinely interested in which books. I've read, read less than 10 books for sure. You've read more? Yeah. Than 10? Yeah. That's interesting to me. Okay. Now, what do you think that... You think that makes you smart? No. How many How how many times a day is, is a book to you? One. Hmm. Yeah. And that's before or after? Um, during... Usually. Anybody anybody listening to this like trying to fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna... This sounds like dissociation. Exactly. Yeah. It sounds like people <laughs> pretending to have a conversation. <laughs> this is Shelsea who wrote Frankenstein? Mary Shelley. Mary Sh- uh, Shell Silverstein is who I almost said. <laughs> um This is uh all the space in between. Yeah. I'm Frankenstein's monster. I'm Frankenstein's sexy doctor nurse. <laughs> wasn't there Wasn't there sir? a sexy Frankenstein nurse who had the hair going up with the Who had that? Uh his bride. Frankenstein's bride, that's who it was, yeah. yeah. Now, what how, about How come she turned out like such a smoke show? Frankenstein is is his own. He's his own. He's a little he's a bear, yeah. Okay. Fair. Mm-hmm. All right. Fine. And what about Chucky's okay. bride? <laughs> Bride of Chucky. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Too small. <laughs> you want to know? You want to know a traumatic event that happened to me sure. in my early life? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was being babysat at my aunt's house. Mm-hmm. My my aunt goes to the shop and leaves leaves me and Callum with my brother. Um, at the age of about maybe six and seven. I'm seven. He's six. Um, leaves us in the care of our maybe fifteen year old cousins. Jesus. Three of them. They're all evil. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> 90s were 90s were they, um they're just nuts they were just like all right you, no. a 14 year old's gonna be in charge of these these little kids now and it's like, well, it was only for it was only for like an hour while she I went to the supermarket or something trust but... even a child among a 20 year old well you were you would be correct not to because uh-huh. what happened is that the eldest one he locked me and my brother in a room with all the lights out and he put on the Chucky movie. I don't remember what one it was. It was one of the Chucky movies. Uh-huh. And then and he had a Chucky doll and he left it in the room with <laughs> us, like it's sat on the floor staring at us. Kind of a sick prank, yeah. And then when she came home, we were just like shaking and crying because we'd never so seen a horror movie before. Puts in a child's play movie. Yeah. L- has a Chucky doll, puts it in the room. All the lights yeah. are off? Yeah. And it's just the glow of the screen playing a horror movie starring while the, while the, the doll. doll from that horror movie is sat in the room with us looking at us. That's scary yeah. now. It's like, so scary now. That's and scary I've been... to me at 30. <laughs> and even though I know that Chucky's got like a kind of reputation for being kind of a bit of a corny B-movie, like fun horror movie, I'm mm-hmm. too scared to watch it. <laughs> really? Still now? Yeah, I'm too scared to watch it. I haven't seen it since like, I guess 20 years ago because right. I was huh. seven. <laughs> Hmm. We should hmm. we should watch a, a a child's play movie together. I'm afraid of what I'll do. <laughs> It'll take you right back. It's gonna make me regress. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see you regress a little bit. <laughs> I've always thought that about you. No. Stop thinking. That um. About are me. we gonna do a podcast? We can do a podcast. Yeah. Well then. Currently, we're just doing a conversation. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah. Anyone listening mm-hmm. to this is already is already asleep. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. Thank God. Um. So if you wanted to say some of your favorite slurs that you say when the mics are off, now is, now is the best time to do that. Stop. No. I'm going to start bleeping out what you said. There. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Adding sensor tones to your, <laughs> to what you... Okay. Oh, Sorry. wow, Billy. Oh, that's Sorry, a tough one. It sounds like you that's asked me that one. I immediately just started saying. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no hesitation. You're just, well, this, this. And if you swear no one's listening, I guess this. Oh my god. <laughs> um this is all the space between. My name is Mitch. 
My name's Billy. This, mm-hmm. surprisingly, you wouldn't know it to listen to it, but th- this is actually what they call an advice podcast. We give health advice. We don't know. And financial. We're not, we're not qualified Health and to financial advice. No. Cardiovascular mostly and uh, like long-term investments. Mitch is a hypochondriac who's in debt with the IRS, <laughs> so don't listen to him. <laughs> the, two, the two things. Mitch has health anxiety, first of all. Like right off the bat, he texts me about once a week about his heart. Even though he's <laughs> 30. Um, and on top of that, yeah, he's in... He, I mean, I can't say the number or I will have to bleep it out. But yeah, he's in like a bad amount of debt. Like a bad amount. <laughs> with yeah. the IRS, yeah. yeah like so they please had don't to, take his advice. Yeah, like they had to move him onto a more serious department. That, yeah. that, was, uh, that was really humbling for me. When yeah. I was like, debt with the IRS isn't that bad. And then it got over a certain amount. Mm-hmm. And once... It was over that amount they um they were like oh you know what we have to transfer you to somebody else now and it was all just it was all just roses and sunshine mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. as soon as they transferred me to that to that other department they're just mean mm-hmm. to me they're just yeah, like they're not nice you to you anymore shit. you gotta pay this off <laughs> and i'm so sorry how did this even happen i was like i don't know i'm just a little boy <laughs> I'm just a small baby boy. Look at me. <laughs> I'm a small little man, and I don't know how the fuck I even got this number. So can you <laughs> please just give me a payment option? My favorite thing with the IRS is that they would they would say stuff like, um, "You need to set up a payment plan for this." I'm like, "Okay, just promise me that you won't raise your voice again." And I'll, I'll say, um, "I'll be like, okay, how do I set up a payment plan?" And they'll say, "Okay, you have to fill out all this stuff, but mm-hmm. tell us." what's how much do you want to set up the payment plan for how 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 much a month like do you and i was like i don't know and they're like what's the most you can do and i go i don't even know how to i would ever calculate that what's the absolute most i can do i don't know and they were like there's no wrong answer and i was like 500 bucks and they were like that's too low i was like so there so there's a wrong so, answer so there is a, so that answer was that, wrong you, you i went eh, yeah. when i said that in your machine <laughs> huh so what's the right answer what's the threshold and they were like there is no threshold and i was like well there's obviously a bottom line 600 mm-hmm. eh, and i was like no. what's the number i don't want to yeah. overshoot it and yeah. <laughs> they were like there is no formula and then I talked to somebody else who was like, it's this amount ti- uh, divided by this is the minimum amount. And I told them about that. And they were like, that doesn't exist. And I was like, well, let's just try this X amount. And they're like, it's just enough. And I was like, so there was an amount. <laughs> so there was, there, who's, what? So now I'm paying yeah. that amount. I don't even want to, can I say how much I'm paying a month to pay it off at very least? Yeah. $1,500. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine yeah. a car payment. It's like a few yeah. hundred. I don't know how much a car payment is. It's a fifteen hundred dollar. Imagine your cell phone. It's like thirty bucks if you're really imagine. lucky, fifty bucks normally, hundred bucks mm-hmm. if you're dumb like me. Mm. One thousand five hundred fucking dollars a month, just so they'll stop calling me. It's actually just like buying a new iPhone. Like it, 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 every month, I buy yeah, the latest month. iPad. Like the, Pro, the actual yeah. handset. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sucks for me. Terrible. It's not good. Um. <laughs> So that's the advice right then is that y- you need to invest in iPhones because if you if you can just flip them, there's this deal at Sprint right now. If you sign up and switch Stop. over to T-Mobile, no, no. you will get the iPhone 12 Max Pro Don't tell pe- plus Don't keep- Max. Don't tell people this. 24 months, they pay it. You flip that. Sprint you don't is have to not use paying us any money. You don't have to be a shill for them. Okay. <laughs> I know. I like to, though. Oh, my it God. It makes me feel good. Oh my god! Uh, I never joined like the Marines or like the Navy or anything like that, so I feel like I yeah. need to. There's still time. I don't think there is for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think at thirty they'd accept me, to be honest. <laughs> not with this body type. Not with this, this scoliosis. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. Come training day, they'd be like, "We're really happy that you were willing to like, you know, give it all to the country." But mm-hmm. unless I was working in like. You know, not combat. I mean, the most useless. Th- I mean, you th- most useless thing to throw out there. Mm, you make a good decoy, I think. <laughs> Distract them. <laughs> Start doing a little dance. What's this tiny baby boy doing on the field? Oh my yeah. god, he's he's really cutting it up out there. Am I? Oh my god, he's 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 dabbing. He's moonwalking. Why? That's at least four years out of style at this point. Bam. Um. 
We might not get to the darned episode if we don't start it. Let's, no. let's do an episode. Okay, uh, this is all the space between. My name is Mitch. My name is Billy. We already said this, but this again is an advice podcast, actually. We do usually, by this point in the show, um, quite often, we read an, an email Good. or two or some. <laughs> What? What? Uh, you're talking you, funny. You you do it better. Um, hey everyone, this is all of this. Pod, all of this podcast is called is what I was gonna say. All the space okay. in between with right. Bill, with Mitch and Billy. Yes. And we every week we email. No. Go into our emails is what I was about to fucking say. Yeah. Go into the emails that mm-hmm. you sent. Mm-hmm. my anxiety is coming back <laughs> you're looking at me like so funny and <laughs> that laugh is so high pitched I'm sorry I'm so sorry would you like me to read the first email <coughs> out? sorry do we have a themed episode we almost we do might, we might accidentally have a themed episode actually mm-hmm. yeah if mm-hmm. you can guess what these what these questions have in common this is like a cool thing that they do sometimes in Adventure Time. You remember that? No. You don't remember that? They'll be like, here's three stories. Now, what did they all have in common? <gasps> yeah, yeah, I do you remember that. Let's talk yeah. about that for 20 plus right now. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's go for a quick Who's your tw- favorite 2021. Character? Now, I like that Jake was voiced by John. What's his name? John. He played Bender. John H. Benjamin? No, that, that that's Bob's oh, Burgers. Oh, no, that's Bob's Burger Man. Um, That would be cool He's if he Bender. was. He'd just be like, uh, the whole time w- <laughs> as Jake. I would love Jake to be voiced by Bob, ama- Bob Burger amazing. Man. <laughs> uh, jo- what is his fucking name? It doesn't matter. Uh, What's the first question? I don't know. Great. All I was, <laughs> You know that for the, did you know that for the past 17 <laughs> minutes I've been, listen to me, I've been killing time because I wanted you to have the email ready to go. I thought after all the the Frankenstein and the 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 what's the character's name and the the what the the sprint stuff I was talking about that you were looking for the email. I found it. I, found I thought it. you were it's getting here. it all ready to it's go. Yeah, I've got I, it's here and I've got it. And the name of it is not to be weird, but I got your name tattooed on me. Okay. And it goes, "Hello, Mitch and Billy." Actually, it says, hello, Billy and Mitch. Hot pickle. (laughs) I'm not doing good at reading yet. (laughs) Hello, Billy and Mitch. Hot pickle headed your way. I've been planning on getting a specific word tattooed on me for some time now. Pinterest board is created and everything. I had a reason for wanting it that is special to me, but I recently met someone who happens to have this word as their name. We have a lot of the same friends, so we're bound to see each other again. And there is potential for it to be awkward if I see them again and suddenly have their name tattooed on me. Do you think it's acceptable to still go through with the tattoo? Should I get in in an inconspicuous place instead or just scrap the idea? Thank you forever. Your show is so precious. Okay, thank you so much. Sent from my iPhone. Also, there's a part in this email where they do tell us the name of this person but they ask us not to read out the name but we know it Mm -hmm. we know the name of the of of or or the word in question that they want to get tattooed on them and without being we're not going to get specific but it's just what should we say it's it's a nature themed word how about that Mm -hmm. john dimaggio it's oh that (laughs) That was that was Jake's. That's his name. He plays Bender in Futurama. It's John DiMaggio. Yes, the brilliant yeah. voice actor. Okay, yeah, it, yeah, that is. The, but Jake I, I, the, I, the entirety of um, Adventure Time. I, I thought I thought you meant that's the name this person was going to get tattooed, tattooed on. on. That'd be cool. That'd be neat. They were like, I was going to get it, but then I I met. John DiMaggio. <laughs> John DiMaggio. Wouldn't that be weird? Tattooed. Not just like yeah. a bender tattoo on my arm. No. But John DiMaggio tattooed on just, each just of my thighs. Word. John yeah. DiMaggio. <laughs> each thigh. Running up anyway. It. No. Okay. Uh, recap. You were going to get a tattoo mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. of uh, see, knowing the name. We can't say the name because they're mm-hmm. like, please don't say the name, but it's this. Yeah. It's not a name like Clarissa. It's not a name. It's I mean, everything mm-hmm. is a name. You know, Apple is a name. Um, mm-hmm. It's not a common name. No. It sounds like a name they've given themselves. You don't know that. I, you said that when we were looking at I Of course I don't know that. I don't know anything. But no. I'm saying I know a lot. I've, I've met a lot you've of people. You've read less than 10 books. I've, <laughs> yes, and I, but one of them, <laughs> the main character, had this name. <laughs> um, <coughs> what, oh, God. One. But what am I saying the word one, one for? Um, <laughs> I start counting. Two. <laughs> When I get to when I get to ten, no one knows what'll happen. Um, what I was gonna say was that I've I've met people mm-hmm. that had names like this, and they're always they're always chosen names. Well, all names are chosen. Oh names. my god! I guess Someone you're right. Chose it. I guess you're right. I guess I'm invalidating chosen <laughs> names. Is that where we're getting to right now? No, I'm just saying that, like you know. Your given name is also a chosen name. It's just one of your parents chose. Oh my, yeah, but I'm saying I don't but, think their parents chose this name. It's 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 an out there name, is what I'm saying. D- my parents called me Billy Blossom. Billy is a name though. Billy is a name. I wish I could just say the name. Oh god, I wish I could just say the name. You're wrong. Like this is. I'm gonna say a name that it's like. I'm gonna say a name that it's like. Okay. Okay. Tree flower. Okay. No one's called that. And there are people that are called that, and their parents are fucking hippies. But like, yeah. and that's cool. But. Mm-hmm. Almost all other tree flowers that I've met or people the names that are like tree flowers, their names mm-hmm. are just like Veronica, you know? Mm. So why? Eh. I know just like a Lacey that's named Blank. Mm-hmm. So it's not a name like that and it's a super hippie name. Mm-hmm. So to get that word, because it's a real word, mm-hmm. tattooed onto you is very normal. Yeah. Now, given that... You've already met this person and you'll meet them again. Can mm-hmm. you get that name, do you think, still? Or that word, knowing it's their name? Mm, I mean, they have to know that their name is a word, right? They must know that. They have to know that. But you didn't yeah. have it before. If you name some, yeah. if, if you see someone and they're like, hey, my name is um, like uh, n- n- Moon. Help, help me think of a name. <laughs> moon Swamp. <laughs> lightness or something yeah, like yeah. a concept you know uh-huh. yeah. and you're like whoa mm-hmm. i have that word tattooed on me that's so mm-hmm. that's so cosmic yeah if you met someone who was just called like infinity symbol or something yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> and you're like i have the infinity symbol <laughs> yeah used to be on my body i had to cover it up mm-hmm. um but yeah <laughs> if if you had that already on you it's not so weird because they know that their name is mm-hmm. odd mm-hmm. as far as yeah. names go and yeah. uh, it would be a pretty beautiful tattoo. Knowing that you have you didn't have it before and you've met them and you'll hang out with them soon, can you get it at this point? It's Yeah, it's the timing of it that is weird. Yeah, yeah. I have an Does answer. It, do you have an do answer? You? Yeah. Tell me your answer. I say you can't get the... the yeah, oh. you, you can't do it. I, I wouldn't. Interesting. Knowing that it's their thing. It's it's hmm. it's their name. Like if they're gonna be a part of your life, uh, blah, blah, blah. maybe you can. First of all, it's so easy to avoid people. You maybe you know I can just avoid them forever. Maybe talk to them <laughs> too, and, and say um, I didn't want to bring this up at the time, but like I've been planning to get that tattooed on me for years now. Mm-hmm. But I don't want you to think that it's I'm a weirdo, creepy little Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. And get that no tattered on that. me. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to bring um, out the pitchforks. No. And I know you're, you're thinking, gonna... how would I know about the pitchforks had I not read the book? How? It's because I read the book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, all right. This person says that they got a Pinterest board created for it, mm-hmm. which is funny because, like, how do you get a Pinterest board created for just something that's just a word? That it, That is a tattoo that's just a word. Maybe they were know? trying to get to that eventually because this you know you can't i wish we could just say the fucking name Uh, (laughs) i can imagine a mood board or a pinterest uh you know the thing that that led you to that Mm -hmm. i I like this and that and that you know what this is perfect it'll be this word okay yeah all right i think you would have to in order to make it like not make it sound like you're a freak who loves them 
you'd have to like show them the Pinterest board and be like, look, look when it dates to, mm. <laughs> you know, before I met you. <laughs> so it's not weird. <laughs> what if you end up dating that person? Oh, there you go. Ooh, don't do just don't don't do just that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's that's got to be the golden rule is don't do that. No, don't date someone that you've already got the name of them tattooed on you beforehand. If you were in this predicament, would you get the tattoo still? You've been planning it for years, hadn't done it, and then boom, met someone named that. Oh, what do I do now? Uh, it's hard for me to say because I'm not like a very... If I was someone who had a lot of tattoos already, then I think I'd care less. Because it's just like, it's an, you know, it's just yeah. another one in the collection, whatever. But I think it would be weird for me, who's got none, essentially to do that like you know i think it depends what your relationship with tattoos is <laughs> mm -hmm, for sure <laughs> yeah um because i mean as, as we all know i own, i only believe in getting very very important and serious things tattooed on me uh-huh which is why you have i've the... um yeah which bringing is it why back. I've, I've got the harry potter symbol on my foot the deathly hollows one yeah and that's why i got well, no, the Harry so Potter symbol is the is the other one you have. You have the Deathly Hollows one on on your foot, but you also have the scar. If you move your bangs up, <laughs> if you move your bangs up, you have the lightning bolt scar. And that's why I've got a fringe yeah, all <laughs> the <it> time. <laughs> that's funny. And if you remove these glasses, you actually have the glasses mm -hmm. tattooed around your eyeballs, <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's actually an optical illusion. The, uh -huh. the glasses are a tattoo. Yeah, uh -huh. no. Um, I've got I got Harry Potter symbol on my foot, and then I got I got the words "bite me" tattooed on my inner lip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've, so they're, you, they're yeah. still there. They rubbed off though. It looks like it says "bike me," <laughs> <laughs> which is everyone's like, "What does that mean?" Oh. Up to artistic interpretation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's hot to me now. <laughs> cool. I want to bike you. Stop. I want to pedal you up. I want to ride you. Like, of course I do. I knew you were going to get to ride. I want to take yeah, you no. on the mm. bus, but I don't want to put you with me on the bus. I want to kind of put you at front of the bus. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you ride to me. Good. Okay. Um, my point being, though... I obviously don't like I you know you can get you can get any any old shit tattooed on you but me me being someone who barely has any tattoos I'd be like no because now it's weird because I've barely got anything on my skin at all and now I'm just gonna have someone's name on it whereas I think if you already had a ton of shit and it was just nestled in there among other stuff it would be less you know if you had yeah. a bunch of tattoos already just get it wait three months and just be like oh I've always had this <laughs> honestly you're the weird yeah. one for picking a name yeah. that I have on me what do you want? <laughs> strange they're like my mother gave me this name <laughs> I go, that's not likely that's not likely at all you huh. got a hippie mother <laughs> you meet their mom that too. yeah they're with me at this party oh my god your oh, mom looks Jesus. amazing for her age <laughs> it's crazy um yeah i think i think it depends on your relationship with tattoos and how many you've got okay it, in accordance to how casual you could you could make it seem you know that's my answer. And I'd say just avoid, 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 and don't do it. That's a valid answer. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything like that. But I, I also, yeah. I avoid everything. That's what kept me agoraphobic that's, for so long. That's true. Uh -huh. That is true. Yeah, and just don't want it, to do it. No, nothing. I would like Whatever to avoid the confrontation at hand. Mm-hmm. So I'll just kind of yeah. talk about it amongst friends. Mm-hmm. Not confront it at all. Hope that mm -hmm. it goes away knowing it never will. <laughs> and eventually I'll want another tattoo. That's true. And you're like, I just think the name Sarah, the word, sorry, the word Sarah is really <laughs> beautiful. Let me see what the word Sarah means. Hold on really quick. Oh my God. Sarah <laughs> name meaning. I think it means princess or something. <sighs> just give me a fucking answer. You'll never know. Hmm. There we go. In Arabic, Sarah means joy or delight. Yeah. Uh, in Hebrew, it means mm. woman of high rank, mm. or it simply translates to princess. That's what I said. I know, I know. That's why I was. I gave you a hand motion that said that you were right. That was your little reward. Wow. Give you a little. Wow. Hey, look at that. 
It was only a hand motion because he, he didn't want to audibly acknowledge that I was <laughs> right to so that motion. you guys could. I, yeah. wanted, I went like this, motioned like thumbs yeah, up, like but I, thumbs didn't, up. I didn't want to say yeah. uh, congrats, you were right on that one. No, he didn't, didn't want it to be like publicly acknowledged. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what you said, but yeah, it says that. <laughs> it was, yeah, princess, which is a cool thing. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So just get the name Sarah or something. And then if, no. it, oh, who's Sarah? No. Well, who's Sarah? <laughs> Who isn't Sarah? <laughs> this means joy in Arabic. Like it still <laughs> says Sarah in this thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, oh, oh, here's an idea. Get the, mm-hmm. I, I almost keep saying the name, but get the the name, the word that you wanted. Mm-hmm. Get it. But in like just random like Chinese lettering. No. But don't, but well, here's the thing. Don't even fully like translate it. Just go letter by letter. <laughs> letter by letter what you think it should be and just don't even like use google translate because i feel like that i i fear that that would be accurate yeah so just download a font <laughs> <laughs> if you can download a font i took a you mouthful were, of I know, water I saw before you, you said that <laughs> or i said download a font and you... yeah trying to laugh with a mouthful of fucking water <laughs> let's move on to the next question okay you're reading it I it's believe. called art pickle and if mm-hmm. you can guess the similarities mm-hmm. between these the two team. billy will venmo you twenty dollars no but I this won't. is only <laughs> what well, i won't hold on let me bring back your camera okay what the fuck did you say to our listeners right now <laughs> i i won't venmo them twenty dollars not all of them Oh, I can't the fir- Venmo them twenty dollars. Not yeah, I don't. I don't think you're a millionaire. Not all of them. The first, the first fifteen <laughs> people that hit you up on your Discord, so they okay, have to so be that- a patron. Oh. All right, well, okay, that, you gotta that's spend too money. much already. You got to spend money to make money. I, I literally not allowed on Venmo. Send. Jesus Christ, Pioneer mm-hmm. is gonna have to be the thing that you use for this thing that we're gonna. <laughs> Do you believe that you have to spend money to make money? Let me ask you this really quick. Yeah. What do you think my idol Steve Jobs <laughs> oh my God. would say <laughs> about this little scheme that I've thought up? This is the most you've ever sounded like a podcaster. I'd suck Elon. Did you hear that car outside? <laughs> yeah, I was trying I'd to say- censor what you were about to say. <laughs> oh, no, it's Elon <laughs> Musk pulling up to my fucking house right now. All I'd say is I'd suck Elon. He didn't let me say he's for there. for a... T- he's right here. Away. He dumped Grimes. <laughs> this one <clears throat> is called What Would You Do for a Free Tesla? No, no. This one's called Art Pickle. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it goes, Dear Yilly and Yitchell, I have a bit of an art question. I was visiting family in my parents' hometown, and I saw in the window of a tattoo shop. <laughs> Take note of that for this next thing I'm going to. Later on in the episode, you'll be surprised, actually, to where this. Uh, your mind is going to be blown. Okay. Of a tattoo shop, and a design I really liked. Uh, here's the problem. I am only here for another day and I have a super busy day planned visiting both my parents' uh, side of the family. So, um, I won't have time to get it from that shop. I took a picture of it and I would like to get it, uh, at home if possible. Should I... Uh, how should I handle the intellectual property aspect? <laughs> uh, the des- asking us. The design was on display in the shop window, but uh, it would be scummy if I had someone else copy it uh, onto me without asking permission and offering compensation to the original artist, right? Uh, I know people show tattoo artist ideas from Pinterest, but this definitely isn't the same. Thanks. P.S. Billy. Big fan of the photos and Mitch. Flat sound is pretty cool too. They also put flat sound as like two different words. <laughs> I'm just talking into their phone, not caring at this point. My, and Mitch, uh, flat sound is pretty cool too. The podcast is amazing as well. You know what? I agree. The podcast is amazing as well. And the flat sound's pretty cool. Oh, I, I thought you were going to agree with the <laughs> big fan of the photos. Big fan of the photos. Because that's what I agree yeah. with. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um. Okay, so. I don't know how tattoos work. Okay. Admittedly, I just started thinking about it just now, mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. after we read this question because I was like, yeah, I guess literally people will just find shit online mm-hmm. done by an artist. Yeah. Take it to their tattoo artist and say, I want this on me. Print it out and show it to them. Email mm-hmm. it to them and they'll print it. They'll draw it on that piece of uh, like transfer paper, whatever they put on their skin. Mm-hmm. And they peel it off. They say, mm-hmm. how does that look? And I say, I'm busy. And then they'll, okay, I'll just assume it looks good. And then they tattoo it mm-hmm. onto them. Mm-hmm. With like That was just something they found on Pinterest or something. People do do that. Is that not cool? That can't be cool. It's not cool. In fact, no, I've, it's been, not cool. I've been it's very pointed not cool. out how not cool it was many times when, like, I'll just see, like, like multiple people will just have, like, my sulky illustration, my flat sound sulky illustration yeah, your, tattooed your onto them. Yeah, your icon that you use everywhere. Me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You. Me the draw- tattooed onto The them. drawing that you did of yourself. Yeah. And they're not even project. flat sound fans. I see that a no. lot in flat sound fans, but I'll see yeah. it in people who aren't even flat sound fans because they went yeah. to their tattoo artist and said... I like this drawing. I found it, this on Tumblr with it, lots of notes. Right, and it just it's just like draw this sad boy on me <laughs> and then they just have me tattooed onto them forever, dude. Just because they that what the hell? Like one I'm the artist. So of yeah. course I'd like to be compensated. Two it's you. <laughs> it's, it's of, of you. me <laughs> and it's representative it, it it's representing my music project. Fans will yeah. get it because it, it's, it it's a flat sound thing. It's almost like a like a logo. It's a logo. Yeah. It's like someone just seeing the fucking like some 41 logo and being right. like that looks cool. Put it on me. Well, are you a fan or a fan of what? What of that? I, like I just songs. like the word Metallica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a cool word. Yeah. What is it? Metallic. Metallica. Um, yeah. No, it's not cool. And But people do it all the time. It, people do do it all the time. Like, Here's they a- do it most of the time, I feel like. I think a lot of people that have tattoos just printed something they found online, handed it into someone, and said, I want this on me forever, please. Yeah. Most, like, self-respecting tattoo artists will not do that i don't think Good. i'm friends with quite a few professional tattoo artists Look, listen to and, billy bragg um, right now <laughs> it's true and yeah i decided to let myself get tattooed by just two drunk men in uh, with machines off of ebay from, yeah. uh, in their house front mm-hmm. room instead of by like a talented like international tattoo artist you, that i'm friends mm-hmm, with for sure stupid oh well, you're dumb yeah but um Yes, I am. What was I saying? I got distracted by. Uh, most tattoo artists will have the in- will have enough integrity to just not do that. Hey, if you found this oh, online, oh yeah, just be like, sorry. no, I'm not. I, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't who, just who tattoo st- shit that this? you found online. No, because uh, a lot of tattoo artists like they draw their own designs. They're like they're you know they they're not just a machine operator. They're actually right. an illustrator. They're an illustrator. They one the of stuff. the notable yeah. like the the one of the when I was talking about the people getting my illustration on them. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the reasons that this has happened is because the piece of shit tattoo artist illustrator mm-hmm. was claiming it was his illustration. <gasps> he he, all he did was he finished the drawing, like he added elbows to me, so oh it was a God. complete drawing, and it literally yeah. said something like "sad boy" b o i on it or something. <gasps> I and, remember that. And he flipped it. He flipped it. God. So that it was facing the other direction and claimed it was his, had it in his portfolio. Somebody picked it, said, I like that. I want it Man. on me. And he tattooed my fucking, my logo, Fuck, my brand, dude. me, on somebody. That's so fucking embarrassing. And you know it was just him. something he found online. Uh, yeah, it was like on Instagram. And yeah, a person was like, what's this? And they tagged me in it. And I'm like, this is not this is fucking embarrassing is what it is jesus christ get the fuck no, out of here awful. i want to find no. that guy because i never i never said anything about it yeah i should find it now and just be like hey are you still tattooing people because you shouldn't <laughs> yeah yeah you were a clown then and therefore you are a clown now Mm-hmm. definitely a, a lifelong clown mm-hmm. no that's awful um no i know i know like kind of shitty tattoo studios exist where it's just like ah oh, it's just like the one on the local high street or it's the mm-hmm. the the one at this tourist attraction town and they just like do tattoos of uh, Tweety Bird or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um 
but most serious tattoo <laughs> well, I'm Such trying to think example. of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think yeah. of like a tattoo people get in Ibiza a, you little, know? a little Tweety Bird and underneath it it just says I exist <laughs> <laughs> that would be so dope that would be so cool that would be amazing someone get that no don't <laughs> don't, don't get it I'm don't so afraid it. somebody would if I was like so that would be mildly now. funny f- to me for a week don't do get it that. no it wouldn't be funny um but no, most most serious tattoo eyes are like they're drawing the stuff, so they they don't want you to just come in and just be like, do this, and they're like, no, it's not fucking, it's not mine. Right. But you have to. It's, yeah, I don't know. To actually answer this person's question in how they should go about it is that you should contact the original tattoo studio, mm-hmm. look them up, find their email, find their phone number, and explain this to them. And yeah. ask. I was I if was just in town okay visiting. Yeah, yeah, because if you like have permission from a tattoo designer, you can take that to another tattoo artist, explain the situation, and they, they'll probably do it. Mm-hmm. Um, our friend Brooke has. One I was just like about that. to say, Brooke yeah. got a uh, European son, right? Yeah, uh, he's very well known. Right to write mm-hmm. something particular mm-hmm. that Brooke wanted on her on her uh, on her chest, sternum. The, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. right, right here. In a cool place, mm-hmm. um, and uh, and then also Moth got European Sun to get to actually tattoo on them there, right? Yeah, because European Sun is from Europe, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> based over here in uh-huh. London. So our friend Moth actually went down to their that's so sick their studio and actually got them to do an- another sternum tattoo actually uh-huh. on the it chest. It looks yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah, but because they're based in. Europe and Brooke is in North America. I uh, can't couldn't get to them. Um, it'd be, uh, Montre- no, it's uh, <laughs> it, it used to be what is it? Or oh, Ontario? Gonna, that was it. Ontario, doctor. Canada. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Brooke. <laughs> yeah. Um. You want you want to give the street address as well? I, I don't know, but if you want, I can look <laughs> it up right now. I know it's near. It used to be near. Yeah, it's like an hour oh away God. from Ontario. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um. Because she couldn't, like, physically get to European Sun to get the tattoo done by them, she just kind of paid f- for them to do the design and, like, had their permission, and that took that to a local tattoo artist to do. And that that's, like, a, a done thing. Mm-hmm. So you should get in contact with the original place. Be like, hey, I really like this design. I took a pic of it. Can I get someone else to do it? Mm-hmm. They might even send you a high res of it, you know. But you you'll probably have to pay them. You should tip them at least. Yeah. You, what you definitely shouldn't do is, is that Mm-mm. the just take the cell phone shot that you took of somebody else's mm-hmm. thing. Like, hey, we do this here. I drew it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hmm, I wonder if someone else would do that on me and snap a shot with your cell phone. No. You'll get it even no. just like a better finished product if you just, just contact the place. Just yeah. say, hey, I was walking by. I didn't have time. I was only in town for the day. But mm-hmm. I can't stop thinking about this illustration. Mm-hmm. Could I compensate you for having it done somewhere else if this is an original drawing and they're Mm -hmm. like that's literally tweety bird (laughs) you have to email warner brothers (laughs) (laughs) that's tweety bird yeah um yeah i mean it's funny when because the the way the the, this person phrased the question as well actually because they're like how should i handle the intellectual property property aspect and it's like it's less about intellectual property because again tweety bird is intellectual copyrighted property mm-hmm. of a massive corporation you're not going to fucking ask their permission to do it right it's not going to affect them in any way you know um but when it comes to a tattoo artist who <laughs> the people who own tweety bird are making their living off of tattoos of tweety bird totally <laughs> tattoo artists are making their living off of that so they should be paid for that mm. you know yeah um uh, like that's what they designed it to be to be a tattoo you want it as a tattoo so they should they should uh, get some recognition some compensation for that yeah yeah because yeah, the mm-hmm. thing here is that yes it would be scummy to do that and and but you know the uh what do they say here uh I know that people show tattoo uh, artist ideas from Pinterest, but this definitely isn't the same, right? Um, it almost is the same, and you it, shouldn't it's almost do the same, yeah. you shouldn't mm-hmm. do either of them. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I guess I guess mm-hmm. sometimes what people I I guess when I think of people who like look at stuff up online, 
they look at stuff online and then they they'll kind of show the tattoo artist like the sort of uh pinterest board that they made i want i want something like this yeah. but i want these colors and i want this and then that mm-hmm. that illustrator will say okay well then i'll I'll mock something up for you. I'll make something like that in my style. Uh huh. Yeah, incorporating these things. That's more common, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely fine. Yeah. But at the same time, I can Mm -hmm. go anywhere and just be like, "Give me Hatchet Man on my back." Mm Mhm. And they'll do that. Yeah, yeah. But why would they say no though if it's Hatchet Man? Um. Well, because that's like aside from like the sign outside that says no juggalos, but. Well, yeah. Very, very common sign. No juggalo tattoos, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's, it's not no juggalo tattoos. It's no juggalo no, no allowed inside, inside yeah. this establishment. We're no trying to shirts, keep the no air. Shoes, no, no juggalos. Service, yeah. No juggalos. Yeah, we're trying to keep the air clean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to smell like Fago in here. Um, because that's like a logo. But yeah. my thing is like a logo. A person can. It is. That's true. Also, people can. What about like the prop? Like. I guess that's why so many people ask me, like, is it okay if I get this as a tattoo? And I'm always like, why the fuck mm-hmm. do I care? Because I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just flattered that you want to do that. But I'm also not an illustrator. I make music. If you like that music so much, you mm-hmm. want to get the lyrics tattooed on you. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. Though when they do ask me, can I get it in your handwriting? I say no. Mm, yeah. Nah. Um. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're an illustrator, I, th- I think it's pretty common practice for illustrators to you're meant to ask them or sometimes they'll put stuff up and they'll just be like oh here's a flash sheet if you use something from it tip me this much money you mm-hmm. know you don't have to ask but tip me <laughs> wow <laughs> but you but the, the these things are up for grab if you want if you want to use one of them you know um but yeah again that's how they're making their money like that's their craft that's their thing you know mm. um so you should you should respect you should respect that thing you know I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it's less of an intellectual property thing in terms of, like, legality, and it's more just, like, not being a dick, I think. That's <laughs> sort know? of the bottom line, isn't it? Is yeah. that, like, you could mm-hmm. do it. You absolutely yeah. could do it. And there's no mm-hmm. shortage of, like, tattoo artists that will do it for you. Yeah. Hey, I mm-hmm. literally, like, you, you could just show them another person's tattoo, Mm -hmm. And you'll just say, I want this exact thing on me. Okay, I'll draw it up. Um, And I'll make an exact replica of it. Or I'll just, hey, you snapped a photo of this thing? Yeah, I'll I'll trace it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have that same thing on you. Um, You can do it. You shouldn't do it. No. No. You shouldn't do that thing. Um, No. A, it's very unoriginal. You just copy someone else's tattoo. uh, Especially placement and stuff like that. But... Yeah, just go to someone who's got, like, the integrity to want to... I, I don't know. I I just think they're going to do a better job if they do their own stuff, really. God, copying the exact placement of the... the... Are we allowed to talk about the moth thing at all? <laughs> I think we can talk about it vaguely. Yeah. Moth just got that tattoo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It says, I exist in European Sun's writing, Henry. you know, yeah. which is mm-hmm. very unique. Mm-hmm. It's very... Aside, it's not even that it's unique as much as it is distinctive. Lots of people mm-hmm. do that style, but like once Brooke saw that, she was like, "That's European Sun." Yeah, well, I yeah, I immediately uh-huh. knew as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. because I see stuff like that, and I have you know like my whole life. But there's something that they're very distinctive about it, and they got it done yeah. by European Sun, and it says I exist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, which is a flat sound. Thing. Which is a flat sound thing, but yeah. it can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. Um, and mm-hmm. then there was a lot of uh funny stuff that happened from that because it went kind of you know viral people were sharing it and Mm -hmm. they were this is beautiful and it's awesome blah blah and then somebody that got an insane amount of likes on instagram mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. and remind me somebody that moth knew personally Mm -hmm. in moth's real life yeah got the same tattoo like a few weeks later literally about uh, maybe two weeks one and a half two weeks later yeah in the same um, place in the same saying the same, same thing then, yeah but yeah. not by european sun no just but in, in style that, in a style clearly meant to kind of uh, mimic it yeah but what they, <laughs> what they said happened is that they said that so basically the the story from their point of view is uh-huh. that moth got this tattoo done european sun uploaded it to instagram it went it got <clears throat> tens of thousands of likes it, it was awesome 
someone did a drawing based on that photo of it. They saw that drawing, Mm -hmm. which had both Moth and European Sun tagged in it, though. Mm -hmm. They saw that drawing and then took that to a tattoo artist and was like, give me... (laughs) Here's a photocopy of yeah. a drawing of a photo of a thing that would just happen a week ago. But all of that ago. happened in like like a week span. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. <laughs> and then they did they know that it was Moth when they it was their friend got the same one. I mean, I mean, they said no, but like they did. If, they did. Uh, uh, I presume that if you see an illustration on Instagram and you like it. In not, you you love this illustration so much that you're like that concept is so cool. I'm gonna get it tattooed on me. Personally, I'd think you'd probably click through to the post and see the 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 person who it was because they're yeah, tagged not in just it, the drawing but, of it. Yeah, you'd want to see um, the actual photo, and you'd want to see who's, and then they would see who's tagged in it, and they would. Well, yeah, but I mean, the moth was tagged in the illustration, I think. <laughs> So like, I, I don't know. That's pretty and, bad. And, and, unless they, uh, I don't know. Maybe people are genuinely out there just just screenshotting stuff from stories and just taking it to tattoo artists. But and even like, that's this, not but... good, right? No, of course it's not good. That's of course not, it's good, not good. But because like, that I was just... a distinctive style by a distinctive artist that your friend had a week ago. You didn't even let them mm-hmm. have the tattoo. That's a very personal thing. Mm-hmm. Have the tattoo for 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 a couple weeks before you're like, hey, guess what? <laughs> Me too. Yep, both of us. <laughs> you and I, same we one. Both got Remember it, when you yeah. went viral for this tattoo that I got now? <laughs> I have the same one now. Isn't that cool? You, we're like, we're related now. It's like yeah. the, I couldn't imagine doing. It. It's bad. Like it's bad enough when like, <laughs> like okay, look in the ninth grade. Mm. I uh, not to sound too cool, but I saw a, I I was eyeballing a very cool jacket from Hot Topic when I was a, when I was fourteen, and this yeah. jacket is like very unique. It wasn't it was very distinctive, I should say, and mm-hmm. it like looked very. There was a bunch of like chains on it. It was just a bunch of and then the and then you can like undo the um the sleeve, sleeve. to make it extra long, and then you can tie it to the back like a straight jacket. I mean, this thing was corny, bro. Like this, and I <laughs> loved it at fourteen. I was like, yep. "Dude, this is some <laughs> that is my shit." shit. Yeah. I'm gonna wear an ICP <laughs> shirt underneath that, and that is so dope. And mm-hmm. uh, I got it. The thing was not cheap too. It was like, I mean, I went, you know, like when I was fourteen, and the thing was like seventy bucks, you know. And I was yeah. like, "Whoa, oh mm-hmm. that's like buying a car." I think. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. so I got it, and I started strutting around campus being like no big deal it's just i look like this now <laughs> and everyone was like whoa mitch looks like that now and mm-hmm. the so i wore it and i had it for about a month maybe and i wore the fuck mm-hmm. out of this thing i wore it way too much like every day i was just changing the icp <laughs> shirt underneath it really and um <laughs> then somebody within my friend group within mm-hmm. my friend group yeah shows up one day same jacket Oh my god! And I was devastated. <laughs> I I was like, "This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me, Alfonso. I can't believe you would do this." Alfonso, <laughs> Alfonso, why would you do this? Oh, why would you do this to me, Alfonso? <laughs> why would you do this to me, Alfonso? I've known you for three years at this point. Why would you do this to both of us? I've known you since the you seventh grade, Alfonso. The two of us like this? I was there when you know you hurt your neck backyard wrestling. <laughs> okay, I can't believe you would do this to me. This is how you repay me. So I was wow. like. Oh, and I went home and I was like, I'm not wearing that fucking jacket again. I can't. I can't do it. Um, and it really fucked with me. It absolutely, yeah. it really, I was like, how could he do that? How could he yeah. do that? And he felt really bad for it too. He like, <laughs> one time <laughs> I was really, uh, I was really high and I was at home and I was in the living room and I was, I was completely alone. And that's exactly what I would do. I would be like, everyone's gone and I'm going to smoke a lot of weed. I'm 14 years old and I'm just going to. I would literally just watch like a visualizer and listen to music and just feel. to be clear, we're not endorsing this behavior. No, I was a this is so it's so corny. This is, this is the reason that Mitch stopped reading books after seventh grade. <laughs> because actually. of when Dixie, I was done. Yeah. I said uh, the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime and then I called it from there. And then <laughs> the only book I read after that point were self help books. <laughs> On how to get over a panic a disorder. Panic disorder, yeah, because yeah, I smoked too much weed at fourteen. <laughs> Imagine, imagine my, um, imagine my surprise when I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very high Mm -hmm. and I'm sitting and then 
I get a call, and this this is like 2004. So I'm getting a call on the um, on the house phone. It's ringing, and I was like, okay, who is it? Dad? Is it is it my mom? Is it okay? Who is it? And I pick up, act normal, act normal. This is not act totally normal. And I pick mm-hmm. up, and I go, uh, hello, and uh, it's Alfonso. And I hadn't spoken to him in about a week since the incident. <laughs> you know what what he did? Oh my god. He was crying on the other line, very <gasps> softly, and I go, "Hello?" And he he just goes, <sighs> "Mitch, uh, I'm sorry about the jacket thing, man. I I, I just oh. and I was so that was not what I was expecting so much that I just I panicked and hung up. I couldn't what? deal with it. I couldn't deal with that then. <gasps> this is the most weird thing that ever happened to me to this day. Oh my god. So strange. I got he was crying and you hung up. I on think him. he was high too. Like what a weird <laughs> thing to do. What an what an odd thing to do. I was like, uh and hung up. <laughs> Isn't that so strange? It's the weirdest thing. My point in all of this, Billy. Look yes. at me. <laughs> okay. My all point right. in all of this is that this tattoo thing is so much worse than that. Yeah, imagine if that jacket was permanently fused to your skin. That jacket and his. times yeah. ugh, times a hundred, yeah. times a thousand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the worst thing. I just, it's bad. It's bad. Of course. Of course it's bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alfonso called me crying. That's that's crazy. I've barely that's told crazy. that to anybody. I, I, yeah. I'd never heard that part. I, I I knew the jacket thing. I'd never heard that last part of the Isn't story. Isn't that funny? He, he wasn't sobbing or anything like that, but he was distraught. Quietly weeping is more is I think worse. Than <laughs> you sobbing. think it'd be worse if so, than, than so, what like than him loudly sobbing? Yeah, because loudly sobbing is like eyes oh, dramatics, whatever you know. Someone just qu- a, a, a boy, a fourteen year old boy. Like if someone's sobbing, I'm probably like, ah, you're probably drunk. If someone's quietly weeping, I'm like, oh, oh, Jesus, you're you're actually upset, huh? Alfonso, talk to me, man. Alfonso, <laughs> who's there with you? <laughs> This is a prank. Alfonso. We will watch. Hey, listen. It's fine. It's fine. Just listen. They've got like a 14 day return policy. It's only been seven days. Give me the jacket. Take back the jacket. I got the red one. You got the green one. Oh, it was a different color? Barely. The accent colors were. Oh, it was black with like a pinstripe or something? There was somewhere along. There was like the threading on it was like green or black or something. Mm -hmm. It was was very, Mm -hmm. very minimal. Yeah. End of the day. Same jacket then. End of the day. Yeah, fuck them for that one. End of the day, Alfonso, if you're listening. <laughs> and I know you fuck are. You still. <laughs> I know you are, you fuck. Because you're fucking obsessed with me. You're fucking obsessed with me, Alfonso. Alfonso probably has a kid and a normal job. <laughs> a normal jacket now, probably. And a normal jacket. And I, as you can see, I'm still wearing mine. I'm still clanking around. God, that's so funny to me. Last so question. We will not answer because we're, we're over. not doing it. No, of yeah. course we're not doing it. And you know, of this is even better because it. both of the questions had a similar theme. A mystery theme. <laughs> they both referenced Pinterest. Oh my God, did they? I don't know. I remember us talking about Pinterest in the first one. Did it say Pinterest though? It couldn't have. It did. <gasps> did it really? <gasps> it did. They both mentioned <laughs> Pinterest. Fuck? Surprise twist ending. The... The common thing was <laughs> Pinterest. That's cool. I just saw the word Pinterest here, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure we talked about that in the other oh one. Oh my god, that's, that's so right. fucking funny. That that even plays out kind of like the um the Adventure Time thing. the Adventure Time thing because they're like, mm-hmm. which which is it? And it's like something really obvious, but like, the oh, actually, it's this very it's this very small thing you didn't notice. Oh my god. They both mentioned Pinterest. I'm genuinely in shock. This has been all the space in between. My name is Mitch. My name is Billy. If you have a pickle, tattoo, or otherwise related, <laughs> it can be about art, it can be about relationships. Hell, we actually know something about those subjects, unlike mm-hmm. tattoos. Um, you can send us an email. We love to read them. Uh, our email address is all the space in between at gmail.com. And I just want to double down and say that we do need emails every single week. These past mm-hmm. three. Sorry, two, we picked three, Mm -hmm. (laughs) but the past two that we answered on this episode were from just the last week. We love a fresh pickle. We're Mm -hmm. not digging (coughs) through (coughs) what is happening. We're not digging. I have a GERD cough right now. I know. 
It's not fun. You know, it's, it's because you're making me do yoga. I'm making you do yoga. You're not forcing me. I'm but you say it's you. time for yoga every day. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't say no. <laughs> I'm encouraging you as well. Yeah. I feel with, better with but mile. worse after the... Yeah. I'll tell them. <laughs> That's all you'll say. <laughs> I would really like to do yoga by three or else I'll tell them. So if you can do four, that's fine. But I'll probably tell them by five. Um, it's It's been making me... It's all the downward dog I'm doing, I think. It's, pu- it's pushing it yeah. up. Yeah. It's not good. It's giving mm-hmm. me a GERD cough. Uh, every email that we uh, receive, we read every single one of them. But we're more prone mm-hmm. to answering emails from the last week. So we're encouraging you to write in. Imagine the pickles that we... We don't want to dig through the barrel. We want to mm. just a little fresh fridge pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little yeah. quick pickle. None That's of what we want. The barrel shit. No, none of that stuff. <laughs> we will dig through that if we need to, but we much prefer fresh, kosher mm-hmm. conundrum. Mm-hmm. So again, mm-hmm. that email is all the space in between at gmail dot com. Please send yeah. us an email of any predicament that you might have, and we'll answer it on the show. Also, mm-hmm. if you enjoyed the episode, if you liked it, and you think in your mind's eye that someone mm. else might like this show as well or might like this episode as well give them a link send them the you we need your help to grow we're still steadily growing and that's mostly because of you even though i've been tweeting lately i know you think I'm doing and you good? know what's funny people think it's me people think that <laughs> I, I i'll respond to you on the podcast account and, and people think, think it's me to talking to myself no yeah i've logged into the twitter account i changed it to a little dog icon and uh, and I love them. I love them a oh, lot. And I've just been I've just been tweeting about whatever. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you can uh, send them to our Twitter, which is uh, our at is all the space pod, or space pod. you can tell them to look us up on a- anywhere anywhere podcasts are found: Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube dot com slash all the space between. Or if you want all those links in one place, or just a convenient place to listen to the podcast, send them to our website. Our website is all the space in between dot com or smallhog.com oh wow smallhog.com don't forget about smallhog.com when you said or i was like more we 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 have more what what else do we have to plug but no so small small there's always more when it comes to the hog baby smallhog.com i think that's all did we go over an hour we did and only answered two questions you're a chatty kathy to me I know. You're, it's terrible. It's not good. And also, don't you have a, like an early morning tomorrow? Don't I have to be up in four hours? <laughs> yes, I do. This new episode's don't every Monday. Don't I have to go hiking? Okay, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> new episode's every Monday. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.